With the front wheel and both forks removed, remove the front fender and the number plate. Now remove your handlebars. You can either remove the bar from the clamps or the clamps from the triple tree. Make sure to keep track of any fasteners and bushings. Next, remove the steering stem nut, washer, and top clamp. Using a special tool or a spanner wrench, remove the adjusting nut. With the nut removed, you'll be able to slide the stem out from the steering head. Remove the upper bearing and seal. Using a drift, remove the upper and lower races. Now place the lower clamp in a subal vise and using a chisel work the bearing off the stem. Before installing, pack the new bearing with waterproof grease. Be sure to install a new stem seal. Now, using a shop press, carefully press the bearing into position. Back on the bike, use a bearing installation tool and install the upper and lower races into the steering head. Be sure to hammer in a crisscross pattern on the outer edges of the race. Putting the bearing in a freezer for a couple hours and heating the steering neck will also make insulation easier. Be sure to clean and grease all the bearing surfaces. Install the steering stem, upper bearing, seal and adjusting nut. Be sure to seat the right side steering stop and torque the adjusting nut to approximately 30 newton meters. Back the nut off to finger tight and then retorque to 7 newton meters or approximately 3 quarters of a turn. Check that there's no up and down play or binding in the bearings when turning the steering stem. Next you can loosely install the top clamp and stem nut. To align the top and bottom clamp, insert the fork tubes. Torque the stem nut to 108 Nm. Now reinstall any removed parts. Remember when installing your forks to set them to the alignment marks. Be sure to check your steering for proper operation before riding.